What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. We are going to be giving the RS some nice light upgrades. Now don't get me wrong, the headlights and things are amazing anyway. They follow the road when you drive. It is awesome at night, I'll show you later hopefully. But, I spoke to the guys over at CUK, had them on Fiesta. They sorted me out a lovely little goodie pack, like a welcoming to the RS community. So, I'm going to show you what we've got. So we've got the hoodie obviously, and in the box we have got for air fresheners, lanyards. I'll sort of rip this box apart. So I've been trying to work out which one's which. These are the headlights. Nice little upgrade. So that's a HRD Xenon kit. Uh, 600K, no, 6000K white. So love that. In here, we have the enhanced uh, 12,000 lumens LED H8s, which are for the fog lights, which I thought were headlights at first, but I've looked at the fog lights and I believe I think you've got to take this casing out to do it, I'm hoping it's just like a screw in there and then some trim clips, I'm not too sure, so I don't know if I'm going to tackle this today or not, because I want to do some research into it, before I start trying to pull this out and I don't want to damage any surrounding areas but, looking in there I, I can't really work it out I don't know if you're going from behind, like usually you'd thought you're going from behind, but in a picture I've seen, I've seen people take this whole casing itself out I don't really have any trim tools that are like plastic and I don't want to scratch anything around it. So I'm not too sure currently yet on that situation of the car. But we've also got, in this box here, we've also got, these are, I believe, the indicators for the wing mirrors. Don't quote me on that, I think I might be wrong. In here, these are H1, B4, so I think these are usually like the, um, the full beams and stuff, I think. Uh, we've got, I'm pretty sure these are going to be indicators front and rear, they are big old units, got some stickers and then lovely little selection labelled up, so this is for the boot lights, then afterwards we've got puddle lights, reverse lights and footwells, and to be honest I didn't even notice these are footwell lights because the footwell light standard are so shit, I'm going to be honest I don't even know if it has any in it. Or it might just be a really, really shit bulb. So LED panels are always awesome because it really does bring it out. So when you open the door at night and like, it glows. So I'm guessing they're going to be white. Maybe I'll opt for blue ones maybe in the future because that could look cool. But we'll see what they're like first. So what I'm going to do is I'm thinking if I do one whole side of the car, upgrade all them first, and then compare it to the complete stock side of the car. Like... It's, it's getting, it's not dark, but it's not exactly a sunny day, so you should still be able to see the difference quite well. So I'm thinking if I just do one side and then show, you'll be able to see what the normal side is next to it. So it'll be a good comparison. Obviously I'm working on my own today because no one else is my friends. So it's going to be a bit tricky filming it all, but it should get a good comparison and hopefully um, it's something that you guys are looking to yourself. Obviously I had them on a Fiesta and a lot of you guys, if you're in a Fiesta community, you probably have them if you don't already get over to see UK car enhanced performance they also do you can get Revo mats from you can get anything for your car whether it be lighting exterior mods interior mods quick shifts short shift like that's the same thing but like mapping software turbo whatever it is for a Fiesta or Focus or even I think they do VW as well now if you need something make sure you go check it out leave in the top link description massive shout out to them guys for hooking me up today so let's get in straight into it get the headlights out and uh Let's see, <laughs> hopefully these are easy. So, <laughs> the last bit you would have saw was me outside doing the cut, doing the headlights. Now, I got into a bit of an argument with the headlight, we had some disagreements. And it's now a couple of weeks later. But we are back, we are back to the headlight. So, I'm going to go through it all again, as I'm now more wiser, and know more about how to do it, because I've done more research, because these are not like any other headlight, because of how, I don't know what the word is called, where my headlight bulbs, when I turn, they turn, when I turn them on, they come up, they're like projector lens, I think, I'm not too sure, but they're not like just changing a normal bulb, so I'm going to open all these three doors up, and show you one by one how to do it. So we'll start with the nicest one possible, the indicator bulb. So, 
So obviously, you've got the three different sections. Think of this as each each one of these is a door, and at each uh, end of the door is what you want to get to. So we're going to open door number one. As you can see just here, this is door number one's item. So she's going to spin it anti-clockwise. And just give it a pull out. And here we have the indicator bulb. So we're going to get this out. It was simply you push the bulb in, twist it, and it will come out. So that's one bulb done. And now we'll change this bulb. So the replacement to the, the indicator bulb is one of these bad boys. This is going to be the same in the real light as well. So essentially, you can open this up, put this in, twist it, and then into the actual fitment here. And then twist this back into the headlight. So on this one here, it's just it's literally got a, a little push clip here. So you just push that down to release it. So that was obviously on that bulb there, which I can now literally pull up. Straight out of there. So that one's now out, and we're going to replace this one with a new, lovely, Zenoni looking one. So this is the replacement for the old one. What we're going to do is, it you, you can line up. There's a flat part here, which really helps you get it in. So we're going to match the flat to the flat surface in there. So I can't really film it. You're going to drop it in, and then pinch down on that, push it back on top, release it, and it should grab. So this is like the main event. This is the big, the big one. So what you could do here is you could unplug here, and then inside here you can feel it. You can't really see it, but you can feel it. See it just there? This sort of plastic thing. You spin this round anti-clockwise with your fingers, and then this unit slides out. So you do unplug that, spin that, and pull that, I believe, and then I'll show you what's next. I'm pretty sure that's what you got to do. So I'll try it, and if it doesn't work, I'll tell you. Now that we have the unit itself out, we can get on to replacing it with the new one. But before you do that, there was also like a little... um plastic clip on that that I'd slide off but you'll get to that that bit there actually that's where it was there so now I'm guessing you just get the torque splits here which look about like phew, T15s T20s oh, yeah. undo them this casing should be able to pull off and then we'll have the unit itself because on the unit replacing it with it doesn't have that black plastic which obviously going to need to be able to tighten in so we need to get that off to put on the new unit this has got the actual plastic back on, just have to tighten them two torque screws back up. As you can see, there's actually like, where are they? There's three different sections of it, one, two, three. And in here, you can see there's three different bits, so I'm just going to line them up, push them into place, clip this plastic back on, and plug it in, and we should be all good to go, boys. This headlight is already in done, I'm just going to bolt it back in, and I think... We're going to go through the fog lights next, so this is upgraded, we'll get the fog lights done, get the rest of the car done, and then we'll do a comparison of the whole thing. So I'll leave one side done, one side undone, then you'll get the full like experience of it all. So we can get to that now, but we got there in the end with this headlight, it was a pain, but we did it. So we've installed the fog lights in themselves, they're really quite easy, it was just, I couldn't first of all work out how to get them out. So you have this sort of rubber surround, which I might actually paint gloss black soon I'm not sure and I was just sort of thinking like where can I get a trim tool in but if you sort of just pull on them in separate bits they do just pull out they just take a bit of like play so I'm gonna mess around with these a quick but essentially is just pull them and they should come out told ya yes yeah, a bit, bit violent but she'll come out now you got to get. To, now when you get to this yourself, I'm pretty sure it's a T20 there. I've got a bit. It's a nice screwdriver. Let's try that. T25 bit. Uh, yeah. So we'll just undo this. That way we can actually get all the housing moved around itself. So make sure you not like, drop the screw. Okay. So we'll put that down there. Now we should be able to actually move this back. There's two like push clips here as well. Just push one in. The other a bit and give it a bit of a wiggle and you'll see it starts to move. I just need to get that one in more. Yeah. There we go. Alright, that just fell out of something. There must be a cap on it somewhere. Okay, anyway. Now you get to here, it's just simple, should be a push bug I'd expect. Just push this bit here off. Slide it out and you've got this one here, so I'll show you this out and compare it to the new ones we've got. 
So as you can see, we've now disconnected the fog light and just got it here. So all I'm going to do is twist that and give it a little wiggle and it'll come straight out. It's a nice little unit, but let's compare this to the new one we've got in. So I put the old one there, I don't really need that no more, so it matter about getting that bit damaged. This is the new one. Let's just look at the size comparison right here. This is massive. This is a, what is it? 6,000 lumens. So this should be very like ice white slash bluey, I believe. Just <laughs> the size of it is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure these are what you're using the headlights on the Mark 7s. So I'm not too sure. But it is a massive jump in size. So if I just pop that in there, give it a little spin, I guess, wait for it to go tight. Is that going to go tight? There we go. Where is it? Yeah, so now it's going to fit itself. So you can see there's three different bits here. And then right on here, you can see at the bottom, there's just three different bits that are going to match. It's literally like putting a jigsaw puzzle together. You've just got to get the right holes in the right lines. And it should be as good as it just like that. So push in and then slide it. And now it's actually sealed in there. So now you can see you've got the unit there. Now obviously this is a bit much larger than the previous one. So I've got a feeling I'm going to have to give it a bit of a wiggle to get in there. But once I get it in, I'm just going to put the T25 back into it and then we're going to push this straight back over and we're good. But like I said, well, let me know what you think. Should I gloss black this and this and maybe this? Um, I haven't really seen many more, many other, I haven't really seen any other RSs with that so it could look pretty good. Uh, drop a comment down below, just let me know what you think about that because I've done quite a like, lot. I did the roof gloss black with me, most people leave it like at the the matte look because the rest of the car sort of matte but if I gloss the rest of it that could look really nice and unique so um let me know Now, getting on to interior, and I'm going to do half and half. I'll start with the driver's footwell first. So if we just jump straight in here, nice and cosy, loving it. Now, in the footwell, these things are called pedals. Now up here we have a light that looks, let's be honest, it looks awful in every way, shape or form. So what we're going to do is, we're going to work out how we pop this out. I just done it with my hands, you could probably do it with a trim tool or something. So let me just pop that out quick. Bang. Pop that out. Now this is disgusting. This is disgusting by Ford. I should be shaming myself because that is no such thing as a football light. So as you can see, I've unplugged this from here. Get it to focus up. Oh, there we go. I've unplugged it and now I'm just going to slide this light back itself. Drop down the floor. We don't need that no more. And that is garbage. Now with these lights, they come with two-year warranty. Um, I'm guessing these are white. I'm not actually too sure what colour I've been sent out. But, let's find out. I'm do a little side-by-side -side comparison. That is the original Ford. And this is the UK's one. Now, they are slightly bigger. And this will not fit back in. So, they do come with a bit of sticky tape on the, bit on the back. So, you can just stick it up in your foot. Well, make sure you don't actually kick it. So, I'm going to plug that in now. Literally, simple. It's got two pins. And they're going to go in there. Lovely jubbly. So I'll plug that in and I'll show you how lit it is. All right, so instantly you can see how much bright it is. It's hard to pick up on the camera because it's sort of focused on it. But if you hold it from here, you can see the brightness. So we've got the like literally night blue colour matching. So when this is at night and I open these doors, these are gonna these footwells gonna be flooded with blue lights, which is gonna look awesome. So I'm just gonna tuck this wiring away, stick it up, and uh, we'll get to the back of the car. Now we're in the boot. Um, I'm also not sure if I'm missing panels, so if anyone could tell me, I'd really appreciate it, because that is just a big empty square here. And this side, another empty square, and that one, there should be, it looks like there should be a light, but there's not. So I've got this one light. Um, any RS owners, please help me, because I'm really confused. So, anyway, I'm going to try to get this light out. You see it's one in there. There's a slot in the back, that's why I've put the back seats down as well. 
Okay, push it in. Come straight out. Lovely jobble. Got a nasty bulb in there, which is very hot, so don't touch it. So once you've pulled the super hot lava bulb out, it's still burning my hands. I'm gonna get the new bad boy in. These come in a nice little pack from the UK, and they all got two year warranty as well, which is always obviously two year guarantee. How can you go wrong? And it looks so much better anyway. So you're gonna undo that and just pop it straight in there. It's, it's hardly rocket science. You can see the pins on the back. If they focus, there you go. You can see the pins on the back. Pins inside. We're gonna plug her in there and get some nice lighting in the boot space. Okay, now coming to the back of the car, we've got to do the brake light. So we've got the brake light, the reverse light. I think that's it. I'm going to check, but... Oh, and also the rear indicator. So we're going to get that out now. So take it, taking out the rear headlight, the, the rear light, is quite easy. It's just a bit fiddly. So obviously you've got your rear light, you come to your boot. Got this, it's stuck in here. So you just undo that, like you just pull it out and you've got these twisty bits. I've already broke these off to make them quite loose. So it probably won't be this loose. I'm just going to unspin that and take a second. So we've got one out and then there's also one up here where I just said I thought there's stuff missing. I'm guessing it's meant to be missing because there's one up just, let me get that to focus. There's one just there as you can see. So I'm going to unspin that. I watched a video to steal this idea. But I'm pretty sure you literally just, this might be doing this. There's a clip here and I don't want to obviously break anything so if I just give it a little bit of play. Ooh. Don't knock your body work on your car when you do it. I didn't do that. <laughs> but pull it out and then there's just a simple clip on the back. Should be able to push down. I think it's just push down and pull out. What was it pull up? I don't even know. No, push down. And now we're out. So obviously now you've got access to all your bulbs. And these ones are very nice compared to the front because it's literally twist in, twist out, instead of having to do all the the other complicated stuff in the front end, I hated that. This is more my sort of technique of plug and play. I've got the rear indicator bulbs, and then in this pack here, second from the bottom, you've got the reverse lights. The reverse lights on these are always awesome, because they come out as a really bright light. So, obviously now we need to locate which one's which. So, top one's going to be just normal rear light, and then second one in from the right, second right one, far right one is your indicator, and then the one in is obviously reverse. So, this is going to be... And it's also aluminum orange, you can't even miss it. So all we literally do is twist it, pull it, one out, get him gone, push in, give her a twist, she's out, throw it in the bin, no needed. And then grab one of our new fancy dancy ones. Just be careful we're not touching the LEDs. Just plop her in there, give her a spin, so there's a little clock bit here, and you just want it to get into place. Just put it back in. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. There's only one way in and one way out. It'll line up once you know you're in like that. Give it a twist and it's locked. So this one, reverse, come up to it, anti-clockwise, pull it out, push down. Oh no, just pull out. That's what we like, just to pull out game. Pull out game strong. Put the new indicator in. If it goes in, come on meat. In it goes, put it in the owl. Find the locator. In spins. Lovely jubbly. Now, before I actually push it all back in, I have to try and get out again. I'm just going to plug it in, test it, make sure it works, and then I'll show you. So, hopefully, the next thing we'll be showing you is an overall of the, the full upgraded side of the car. Alright guys, so it's now later on, it's getting quite dark, so now we can actually see the difference between the light, because there's no point in doing it when it was sunny. It's coming up a bit bright on the camera, but it is actually dark, so hopefully, even just by going like that, we can already see a difference. So, what I'm going to do is get my wheel to go through all the lights of us, so we can just show you like a thought on genuine comparison between how it looks and how it doesn't. So, what we'll do first thing first, we'll start from the front, go to the interior, go to the boot, and then go to the rear lights, and then you'll see it all. And I need to make sure I change all the lights because now half of my car is upgraded and half isn't so I'm going to look a bit like an idiot driving down the road. But that being said, let's crack on. Okay, so as you can see the RS is behind me. Now what I'm going to do, because obviously the main and the side beam side lights are actually just like the LEDs in the car itself so you don't change them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him 
to go through them for me. So. So as you can see, this one is very much bluer. You can't really tell from here because the camera struggles to pick up. So that's like a white, and that's more of a tingy white blue to it. But if we look on my actual garage, you can see the difference where that has got like a blue tinge and that's more of a yellow. And then that's it with full beam on and off. So as you can tell right there, that one's more white and that's more yellow. Right, now we'll go to that's fog lights, so look how blue that is compared to that, it's so much nicer. And these come on the cornering lights I believe on the RS, so when you go around a bend, these activate with, by what bend you go around. So straight off the bat, these look so much brighter and nice white, like you've got this janky old yellow stuff. You don't want that on a brand new RS, you want nice ice white blues. And then you've got your hazards, <laughs> look how much justice that does. These are flashing at the same time and it looks like these aren't even on right now. Look how bright these are, it's crazy. Alright, now we're actually going to get to the interior of the car. So, this side, we did not upgrade the football lights. So, open the door. Like, bro, you even got lights on. Now, we'll go to the driver's side. Jesus! To be honest, I did stick the pad, I think, too far in the corner. I might have to centre that more, but that way I know I'm not going to kick out my way. But even just that is such an upgrade. And then... We did the boot light as well. The boot light, it wasn't a blue, it was like um, a very bright ice white. So I'm interested to see what that looks like. There you go. Nice white beaming out of there. What I do think is there's a hole for one there as well. So maybe you can add a second one yourself, I'm not too sure. But even just like that, it's so much nicer. Before you could barely even see into the boot. And then obviously we did the rears. So what we'll do is... If he can see me, hopefully. So there are the hazards, look at that. Same time, how much clearer is that compared to that? It is a joke. And then hopefully he can go into reverse. And then that is reverse. Look at that, and then look at that. That is a bright white beam. No one, everyone is seeing you reversing. No one is seeing you reverse there. It's so much nicer and cleaner. So, that is the overall perspective of the RS with the light upgrade. As you can see for yourself, like it, it does what it says on the tin and more. It's so much bright and clean now. I can't wait to go out and drive for this. Just the, even the like the front lights are gonna be so much nicer down back roads and night, so much clearer and it gets rid of that yellowy tinge where it looks like you've got candles in your headlights, you know what I mean? You get that bright ice white fit bright ice white finish which everyone loves. So if you're interested in getting any of these yourself or if you've got a fiesta, like I had this on my Mark 7 Fiesta or I've got a Mark 8 or anything like that. Go down to CUK, use code B17Y to save yourself some money. So strong stress, B17Y, save you guys some money. I always see you guys tagging me when you save money. And definitely do it because at the end of the day, your vision at night is the most important thing on the road. If you can't see, then you're more than likely getting a crash, aren't you? So if you want to grab one of the, some of these yourself, definitely do. I've shown you the value for money you get and they come with warranty and you you just you can't beat the customer service as well. So make sure you go check them guys out and I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash a like, comment down below what you think, and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.